Hi, yeah, this is JR, the tech spat in Saigon. We're here at the new house today. It's Sunday, and uh, the guys have pretty much quit working today, but they did a lot this week, and so we're gonna go through and see what all they did. One thing I wanna ask you, see these little microphones? They're supposed to be discreet. Look at this, little tiny microphone. This is the windscreen for this microphone. Very discreet, huh? Let's go uh, find a place to have some coffee or sit down or something and we'll talk about this later. Monday and Tuesday, they started taking down the scaffolding they put up to plaster the exterior walls. And of course, one of the little blue trucks came and picked up the scaffolding. A lot of brick and sand deliveries this week, also mortar. They're doing the interior plastering now, and uh, they kind of go at it a little bit differently than we probably would in the U.S. Also something interesting to me is they don't do the electrical wiring and plumbing entirely before they do the finish out on the interior. They come back later, knock little troughs in the wall and put in the wires. It's a little different, a little backwards but it seems to work for them and everything comes out okay. Our house is that way. It was built the same way that uh, this one's being built and it was built 20 years ago. Wednesday, we discovered that there was another re big remodel going on on our street, uh, just two houses down across the street. Uh, they opened it up and started tearing everything down. So now we've got two construction projects instead of one. Luckily, the little house down the street is just a total remodel. It's not a new construction, so we can get by. It's uh, not nearly as disruptive as the big house. This week at the new house, a lot of stuff happened. A lot got done. They're plastering in the inside. They're putting up some interior walls. Uh, the balconies are starting to look finished with some doors and window frames in. There's a lot done. We had a lot this week too. We babysit some kittens for a friend. These little guys were abandoned and they were only about five days old when we got them. We also got our water meter buried in concrete. See this interesting little structure here. Uh, this is our water meter. When the meter reader came to read the meter the other day, oh, he couldn't find it. It'd been buried by uh, excess concrete and bricks and things. The guys built this uh, little wall around it and they're gonna level the concrete around it so it won't get covered again. The meter reader will be pretty happy. He was kind of disturbed when he saw it buried. Our friend V left some kittens with us for a couple of nights while she had a small trip to make. So we babysit these little guys. We thought it was gonna be easy, but if we had to get up every three hours to take care of them, <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks. They're pretty demanding. Can you believe that somebody just left these little kittens on the street with a bowl of dirty milk? It's pitiful. They're really cute though. We're glad we could be part of their life and help save their lives. They're nice little cats. Somebody's going to give them a good home and they'll have a nice place to stay here in Vietnam. Bee's interviewing some people now and I think she's going to find somebody really good for them.
even the traffic noise in the background isn't so bad, but it's constant. I don't think there's anywhere you can shoot a video in Vietnam or in Saigon, Vietnam at least, where the background noise isn't motorbikes. They're uh, pretty pervasive. This little vendor cart just pulled up in front of the bank. I don't think he's here doing his banking. I think he's doing some selling. Looks like he's selling um, meh. That's the ingredient that Rhea uses for Synagogue. Today I'm sitting on the steps at the bank, just kind of watching the traffic go by. Most of the time I like to shoot in the coffee shops because it's air conditioned and it's kind of comfortable. I can have a cappuccino and do my video. That's always good. But today I felt like sitting outside. It's a little cool today and when it's this comfortable outside, it's nice to be out in the weather. This is a pretty convenient place to shoot too. I'm right by the ATM so I can get the ATM before I go home. I like watching traffic. Vietnam traffic is always unusual. You see about 500 traffic violations per hour. So it's fun. It's really kind of fun to watch. This street's the main street near our house. Uh, it's really busy, a lot of restaurants on it, a lot of businesses. There's traffic on this street all the time, but in the evenings, it's pretty quiet. There's several karaoke places on this street and it's always busy around them. During this, this week, the guys erected scaffolding on the inside. They used the old uh, jack poles that they used to pour the concrete uh, on, the, on the floors uh, to create a scaffolding so they could get up and plaster the ceilings. I'm not sure this is the safest structure in the world, but it seemed to work for them. I've got another video coming up this week. It's about videos that I've already made. I'm going to give you five videos that I really regret making and wish I hadn't made them. Then I'm going to give you the two videos that are my favorite. So be sure and watch for that. I think you'll enjoy it. If you want to make sure you see all my videos, hit the subscribe button and the little bell. The little bell will notify you when a new video is up. This is JR, the Tech's Patent Saigon, saying thank you all for watching.